it's, it's not that great. I mean, it's going to increase over time, of course. Collection log slot <gasps> completed. No way! No way! Ah, let's go! We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yes! 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 I'm so happy! No way we did it! <laughs> That's great! Oh, hi, news. <laughs> Even the cat came to celebrate, only taking her 849k. See, not even having to put in the grind, but do not worry. She deserves it. On her original Iron Man, she had to put in the grind of 5,901k. See, to get that Dragon Warhammer. So she's no stranger at all. She has now paid back her debt for losing the first group hardcore Iron Man life. And the first thing she had to do with that big bopper was absolutely amazing. Second that ain't coming. Here we go. Are we ready to die again, chats? This is the place where it all went wrong a week ago. But now I pass these and I'm like, boom, sit. Oh, I don't even hit. Poof. Okay, f you. She took out the exact monster that took the hardcore life, but I'm very happy she remembered her Slayer Helm on this instance. I was a little bit worried she was heading back there. It was reminding me of that Simpsons episode where Homer comes down from the heavens to eat that piece of meat one more time. Big news coming from the unofficial head of esports at Jagex, aka EDScape. He has just announced that he will be running yet again another speedrun cup. And the promotional video for it, I believe, created by who? 2D is once again one of the best. So many people are getting very excited for this event, but you may remember last year's massive controversy with Jagex, where all EDscape wanted was a retweet on his Twitter post from Jagex, but they simply would not do it. But I am happy to announce this year they are on the ball and they have given him the one tick retweet straight away. But even better than that, this $5,000 tournament is actually sponsored by Jagex. I feel like they've been doing a lot of things to fix their public image, like retweeting so many of the creator-led events, and just overall trying to have a much more positive look and positive things that they are doing for the community. So a big shout out to Jagex on that one. G'day legends, half of you who watch every single day aren't even subscribed. It would mean the world to me if you hit that sub button. It was just yesterday we saw Olive struggling with Zami on his one defense Iron Man. He got the Zami Hilt, but he persisted even longer than that and got the ultimate drop he was after. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> 190! And can you believe this drop was actually written in his fate? He pulled this fortune cookie from his succulent Chinese meal saying, tomorrow you'll find the item you have been searching for and the gods of RuneScape prevailed and did give him that spear. And he already has Hydra's claw, so it was time to make the lance, but there was one massive problem. We're gonna make this. Ooh, wielding it. Oh, control, that's scary. Let's make the lance. Huh? Huh? Apparently, after a few of his favorite gummies, he sat there for about four and a half hours trying to figure it out until someone came into his chat and told him how you do it. Yep. Combine. Oh, dude, dude! But I seriously feel bad for this man. Apparently, his subs are a little bit lower this month, and this was all he could afford for dinner. With the Twitch Prime... You can uh, help me, uh... <laughs> Please go sub to Olive. Bodhi has been smashing out TOA and he has a very special trick to guarantee you some purples. All you're going to do, chat, to get purples, I'm going to tell you right now. You're all going to gasp when you realize that this is the shocking truth. Turn on the tile indicator plugin, bro. I turned that on because I wanted to play with it because it looks fun to see where I clicked. And I have two purples and three reds. It looks like Bodhi has joined the high level community and will be hated by EV Skate, but let's check out what one of those purples were. Whatever it is, a ring bearer, a ward, whatever the hell it is, I deserve the purple and it's all I care about. Gimme. Oh, baby. How much is that worth? It's not collection log either. 72.4 big ones. Money. And if you want to see the other one that was even better, you'll have to sub to his YouTube channel and wait for the video to come out. We know Lake is a true gamer. He won't lose his hardcore status if he perishes here, but look how skilled this is. 
Oh god, dude. Okay, what what ticks are they on? Help me out here. After guzzling the bruise and getting hit down to 2 HP, this man went on to figure out the ticks and absolutely dominated these NPCs. But if you want to see some real gaming, wait till you see him take on one of the hardest monsters in the game, a demonic gorilla. But some other fellow was crashing him and just stood there while the demonic was attacking him. <laughs> so rip the iron, man. I don't think you're too tall. <gasps> Let's go! It exists! We got one! Holy moly. All right, let's get the back-to-back -back going real quick. That was 728 for the first one. And check out that dirty, disgusting log. The Xenites are just one out of 300. He got all the other uniques, but finally pulled the Xenite. Fine, get enhanced. Stop again, cringe. I mean, we're gonna green log now, I guess. <laughs> Dale has done over 600 CG runs on his hardcore, but I guess the pet is a nice little constellation prize. But he hasn't quite put in the grind that OS Bay has. She's closing in on 900 KC without the enhanced. We did lower the volume on that, but I hope you enjoyed the longest and the loudest ACB spec we have ever heard. But do not worry, she didn't have such a reaction for her first ever Cox Purple. <gasps> oh man, but still it's a purple! Finally! Bro, it's something, I'll take it. It's been far too darn long since we've seen skill specs get a PK. Could this be it? I'd give that rage an 8 out of 10. And is anyone else waiting to this man grinds out the Inferno Cape? And we see plenty of rage as well. He dies to Zucky Boy once again. These three group Iron Man brothers have just received their first TOA purple. This could literally change everything. Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes! That's the Oh my yes! god! One of the reasons I was so excited for the Fang is because none of them have the Slayer level to get a whip, so they can completely skip that grind if they get a few of them. Lake is just far too skilled of a gamer at Zuck on his hardcore for a Slayer task. Yeah, that's cool. That's super cool. That's super, super cool. Unfortunately, leaving Zuck with just 7 HP left when he got dragged out just before the shield. Earlier on, we saw Dale get the pet at 629 KC. Well, here he is only a short time later at 651. The pet and the enhanced in the same day to completely green the log on Big Pencil 29's Hardcore Iron Man account. Just when you think skill specs can't do anything amazing, here he got a world record. Good luck, bro. Dude, no. Dying on my Hardcore Iron Man. Completed. Unfortunately for him, that world record during that one bill stake was the fastest ever death. And what on earth is going on with all the streamers at CG lately? Here we have an ultimate Iron Man. 54. <gasps> what? Holy... <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Much better than 600 odd KC. This one only took the ultimate 54 KC. The absolute best part of the escape crystal. It looked like Fudge was about to climax, but if you want to see me climax, all you have to do is drop a like and perhaps even sub because we're so close to 90,000 subs.